Hello all. And welcome to episode 16 of the Liverpool Rebuild. To catch you up so far, last season we won the Community Shield. We won the league on goal difference on 90 points over Manchester City. Unfortunately, we lost in the FA Cup final to Everton. We've uh, brought in some good players. Uh, the squad is looking pretty tasty. Players that we've brought in, we've brought in Zabani, Antonio Silva, Jude Bellingham, Murray Kudos, Detro Fafana, Lucas Susic, Andreas Schlederup, Andre Santos, two guys out on loan, Georgi Mardivashvili, Milos Kerkes, Joe Bellingham, Teles Magno, Victor Roque. Now, I'm pretty sure I put him up for loan. I have done. Um, so I have had a lot of players come in. Um, I am still trying to ship a couple of players out. There is one player I do particularly really would like the look of. Uh, I, I really don't know what to do with Curtis Jones, to be completely honest. Um, really, really tough work to try and get rid of some of these guys. I mean... I'm really not sure who else I can offload. I mean, I can have a look into the the reserve squad. I know, I've, I've already worked out I need to make around £18 million. So, if I can do that, I certainly will. I'm thinking about, I, mean, I know this kid's only young, but um, I might even promote him. Look, he's 15 years old and he's rated at £27 million already. So, if we have a look in here, I'm just going to have a look at general information because it will show how much they're worth. See, Reese Williams is worth a little bit. Sep, Sep Van Berg, you know, there, there's there's money sitting there. Tyler Morton, I think they, I'm mean, like, I could use Tyler Morton and I probably will. But there's some here that I'm I'm not going to use. I'm going to be honest, this Sepp Van Berg, um, I know he's young and I know he's got a bit of potential, but I just feel as though I've already got young players in that I'm more than happy with. £25 million pound for Tyler Morton. Alphonse Silva. Uh, Ray Gem with a face. I think there's another one, and Anderson. No, I'm not sure who the other one was. Who we signed, but I'm going to try and get rid of a couple of these guys here. There's a couple that are interested. They've got players that are wanted. I think I'm going to get rid of Sepp Van Berg just because. He's an easy target to try and get rid of. We'll stick it out there for like 12 million. Hopefully someone will come in and see that that's a, a bargain. Uh, who else can I sacrifice? We will stick this guy out as well. We'll just offer him up for about four million. You know, it's more, the chances of this even happening are probably very slim, but it's a case of just raising funds and then making them back at a later date. Okay, so we're up against AZ Alkmaar now. We will... Oh, is that uh okay? So because I was trying to be clever in the squad train, it's uh decided to stay like that on me. So senior squad, click back off the filter if it will let me. Right, 
now we should be able to switch Fafana for Nunez. The other thing that's um, kind of got me thinking as well is uh, 14 from a possible 15. Okay, so we will put in whoever Harvey Elliott can go in there. Um, yeah, it's a case of just making a few quid here and now and um, just seeing who's who's available. I mean, there, there is one target that we, we really, really want. And to be honest, it will probably shore up our midfield for the next 10 years if we're able to get that transfer there. Um, those of you who have uh, been watching, you will know who I'm after. Um, wasn't someone I originally thought about, but when um, I got a scout report and they rated him A+, plus, then Alexander Arnold scored a beaut. Oh, it's poor goalkeeping. <laughs> really, really poor. Just flopped on the floor, if anything. I'm still unsure on what formation to play. Kudos, I don't think. I think I'm going to play that three, as I did last year. It's, it's been proven. It's worked. I don't think it's worth playing another formation. And Nunez has got on the score sheet. Simicast for a big long ball to Luis Diaz. Cut back. Oh, it's in right place at the right time, obviously. We'll take that. Praise as always. So yes, the, the idea of this is obviously we will be starting the season. We will probably see more or less up to the end of the transfer window um, or near enough. Um, and we will just basically see what happens because um, I, I think I've definitely got uh, players who I can, I can ship about, to be honest. It's just a case of who do you ship about? As of right now, I'm not exactly 100% sure. Who do I put in that number 10? Harvey Elliott. Sell up. Fofana. And Shildelip. I will learn how to pronounce his name at some point. I'm not going to pretend that I don't put it every time I say it. Uh, AZ have got one back. It's Poku. Oh, it's a good finish. It's a really good finish, actually. Fair play, Ernest Poku. Take a bow, son. Got to try and fire him up a little bit. 2 one is not ideal right now. It is our toughest uh, match that we've been involved with so far because I believe we won 10-0 and 7-0. For some reason that had paused. It made me look stupid, to be honest. I didn't even realise. Milos Kerkez is winning everything in the air today. That's, I, I, I like to read that considering he's a Liverpool player. I'm guessing maybe that might have been a part of the uh, deal for him. So I've got a friend in. Ramsey with a big ball in. Ramsey first time. That throw the volley. Makes it 3-1. Vermeulen has been sent off. Salah scores from the spot. Makes it 4-1 and basically ends the game there, to be honest. And Harvey Elliott has just scored. Andreas with the ball over, Elliot 
first time far corner really really good finish and that see there's five one winners away at AZ Elkmar very good now I have put some players up for um, for loan uh, purely because I don't think I'm going to be able to give them the time so it's non-negotiable they're willing to pay a fair amount I can't knock that can't knock that they're, they're willing to pay up AZ what are you willing to give me yet again I can't knock that as long as the team is willing to pay we will always take a look at it and hopefully uh, come to some sort of arrangement okay that is uh <laughs> not uh not really what i wanted to say so we're gonna have to possibly bite a bit of a bullet with some of these they are they are not wanted at the club to be completely blunt oh i do not want to be going to this so we will go 12 million pounds for curtis jones James Bagalagi. Uh, what is going on? There you go. Now it works. Offer to clubs. 3.5 million pounds. Sipmanberg. Oh, I really didn't want to do that. Cancel that, yes. Offer to clubs. £10 million. Let's just see. Even if I can just sell one of them, it can just... It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Simacas, if they offer me £37.5 million, pounds, I will be more than happy to take it. Do you know what? Let's uh, let's test them waters. If they're saying a deal for £37.5 million, pounds, well, let's see. Will you genuinely take it or be interested? There you go, there's the deal. Don't go around offering, it yeah, made an offer. <laughs> Reject. That's around about the money that I need, in all fairness. Um, the only other thing I can do, and I will try it. I'm not sure whether it's going to be viable no they're not going to no no i'm going to have to make the money up myself somewhere i'm not sure where no you're going to have to put up some of this money That's fine. I really do not know what I've got to do to make this money up. I could pay it in instalments, but I'd rather not. 
they're always going to be disappointed in the finances involved or when I sell players. Always, without fail. Con players contracted. They're not good enough. Right, okay, so this is going to be interesting. Because I might be able to make some money here. <laughs> I can't do that to him. Because if I go high, yeah, it's, it's going to stay into my transfer budget. So I've just got myself an extra million pounds. I need to find at least another 15 more. So where do I find that money? I'll find a way. You always do when it comes down to this. Breast. Every man's favourite football club. So you think paying 94k a month is going to suffice? Okay, that's fine with me. Ramsey is injured. Lead to the physio. How long do I have? 28 days. Let's hope it doesn't become a last minute day. Yeah, I'd like to go back to back on the community shield if I could. Leighton Clarkson, they want him for absolutely nothing. Just give him to us. I don't know much about this Leighton Clarkson. But if you can pay some of his wages, there you go, if you can pay 70% of his wages, you can have him. But let's say we'll pay you £575. Okay, and if you can pay 30%, call it driving a bargain here. Okay, not, a, not the best of deals there really from me, but... Here we go, community shield time. This is where everything starts for the new season. So, is Thiago fit? I don't think he is, he's not. So in here is gonna be Jude Bellingham. Jordan Henderson is gonna get the, the rub there. I'm not sure what is the right play here. And I'm going to start Canate just for the time being. Oh, I've just got this quick pick by accident. But you know what? It's probably sorted out a lot more than what. Kudos. Right, who is not included here? We'll take Garvey Elliott as a example. Uh, who have they not included? Okay. I'm okay with this. Let's uh, get going. We uh, we certainly owe Everton one here. That is for certain. Also, I have uh, sorted some numbers out as well, if you haven't noticed. Um, Jude Bellingham did get his number 20 shirt. Um, did manage to swap some about just to uh, 
make some sense of such normal. Let's uh, let's go. We we need to get these locked back. Van Dyke over to Alexander Arnold. He's driven forward and smashed it into the far corner and given us a one goal lead after two minutes. Definitely worth a praise there. So even though I am um, in the market for players and I have been buying a lot of players, um, I've still got 10 of my original 11 from the, the, the squad I've inherited from Klopp. It takes time to uh, work it all out, to be completely honest. I am happy with the majority of the squad. It's just getting the players, new players in, ready to replace those who you know who are going to be going. Like, I'm under no circumstances do I know Alisson's going to need replacing soon. Conate probably already has. Fabinho's going to need replacing. Henderson's going to need replacing. And Mo Salah's going to need replacing. Um, not because they're not good enough, it's purely because of their age. You've just got to be prepared. And I think that's what I've done. I've brought young, I've brought, brought the right players in. I'm pleased so far with winning. That's the main thing. And I think one more midfielder and I am practically done for the season. Very much like a second one, very, very soon. A one goal lead is not a uh, Nunes has scored. It looks like a rebound from a free kick. It is, he pounces first, he tucks it away. That can't be an Alexander Arnold assist. It's not. And this is where we will make some changes. Fabinho will come off for Andre Santos. Salah's going to come off for, you know what, I'm going to put kudos on that right wing, try him out, I'm also going to try and be a little bit clever, do you know what, I'm going to give, I'm, I'm just going to call him Andreas, shoulder it up, could be something like that, I'll probably say his name different every time I, uh, I come on to be honest. We'll just make them three subs to start off with. As Alexander Arnold gets a second. Bellingham down, Salah. Oh, I'm just making it easy for him. Should have gone far post really, but you know, it doesn't matter. He's got a second. And uh, that is going to seal our second community shield in a row, which is uh, really, really good news. I'm really, really happy with it. We will make. One more sub, Robertson's going to come off for Costas Simicas. And it does leave us with one more sub if they leave us a recommended he's knackered, he needs to come off. And if we get a penalty, I'm going to give it to Trent. And can you believe it? Shoot the up. He scored on his debut. Kudos is cross. And he's volleyed it. Oh my lord. What a finish. I get the first pressing he can really do a good job now and not maybe next season. Trent is going to come off and Zabani is going to come on for five minutes. We're unsure why a player who's on a hat trick has been withdrawn because he's knackered. I think this is the formation I need to use going forward. And here we go yet again. We are about to lift. The Community Shield for the second season in a row. That is good enough for me. Get the pyro ready. Let the party begin. Now it's time to concentrate on the league.
really good result yet. Completely dominated them to be honest, delighted. Lots of players making their debut there as well. Yeah, we're not worried about the timeline. Bellingham makes his debut, as did lots of others. 20 medals, that was basically everyone that was there. Consecutive Trent top scorer, and in six days we are away to Leicester City, who in this fixture last season they beat us 1 0. So, Silver is showing remarkable improvements, which is I really wanted him to get up to three stars, which he has. Ideal. Susic is leaving to join AZ, which is completely fine with me. Uh, removing from the shortlist. I don't uh don't need Max Aaron's now. Below so Victor Locke is back now. I believe I actually put him out to be available for loan. I did. <coughs> Nathan Clarkson is going to move on loan as well. Let's just have a look at this. So we've got just under 54. So if I go to my finances and I'll make a budget adjustment. How much does that give me? 105k per week. going to have to try and sell someone. <laughs> Which I'm glad back one in one loan. Nobody wants Pazajic. Shredder up is wanted on Vigo for loan. It's interesting. If I have to keep Simicass, I'll keep Simicass. It's, it's, it's not a problem by me. I'm just driving this man's value down so much i think everyone's sort of given an, an opportunity to buy him and he just won't go to anyone no one's no one's interested in him look at the top of your screen now on potential antonio silva four star five stars andre santos four and a half should up four and a half you know ben doak Five star possible potential. Bellingham, four and a half. Allison, 
four and a half, you know. It's looking really decent. Squad is looking in good nick right now. We are about to start our Premier Division defence. No one, really, no one will touch him. I am practically out of ideas on what to do. So the only change I am going to make is I want Antonio Silva in. So what is it on his rolls? Okay, so I think he's going to be okay like that. Let's get straight into it. Let's see if we've made any signings of note. Doesn't really look like they've made much, to be honest. If at all. certainly a uh, game I didn't really want the first game of the season because they got the better of us last time out and I've got to say um, <coughs> we we really need to uh, buck our ideas up because we're, we're letting them play a little bit Salah has just scored may have been fractionally offside we'll find out couldn't even tell you if I'm honest with you. I believe. Excuse me. The goal is confirmed with the help of Bar. As I'm going away, belching away. Luis Diaz has scored and the goal has been confirmed again by Var. Bellingham bot is it's that ball every time. It's a quality finish that. Absolute quality. Superb from Bellingham. And Diaz has gone and got another one. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Robertson with a clever ball in. Diaz should be hitting now with his left foot. Puh. It doesn't matter how they go in, just that they go in. It's 3 0, and this is exactly what the doctor ordered. And it's for a devastating t t counter attack by us. It's off. And it's Luis Diaz who taps in for his hat trick. No, no, should have scored. It, he didn't. But Luis Diaz did. And this is more or less the perfect start. I would probably say, regardless what else happens in this game, as long as we keep a clean sheet, that's all that matters for me. And we've got another one. <laughs> it's Virgil, and it's our third goal that has been confirmed with the help of VAR. I've really got to praise these boys. They are, uh, they are kicking some arse in this game. Antonio Silva's having a 6.6. .6. He's having a bit of a mare and Darwin. They're not particularly having much joy either. I will, um, I'll give him boys 15 minutes. See if they can improve themselves. I mean, six sevens and six sixes are not ideal, especially as I'm giving Silver the opportunity over Canate, who has been starting. Salah has scored. Was it offside? Ball over by Henderson. Salah first, first time, very clever, very good finish. Was it offside? No, it's not. It's six. And Nunes has just scored. Just as I was going to look to whether I should take him off or not. Salah, oh, it's very unselfish. You probably would have thought that Salah would have been trying to get in on that. It's seven nil. It is now time to take the boys off. Just... There is no need to uh, 
do anything mental here. We're going to put Mohamed Kudos up top. Silva will be replaced by Ilya Zabani. That will be the three to start off with. Just glad that Nunes was able to get on the score sheet before we took him off. But I'm um, I'm really satisfied. <laughs> this is an understatement. Um, still want that clean sheet no matter what happens. Trent with Simakas. No. When that happens, we have to put Fabinho in at right back. Oh, why did he not work? And we bring on Andre Santos. XJ of 4.31, which is really good. Andre Santos is not happy about coming on at all. <laughs> Mate, you just got your uh, your weekly bonus of uh, getting on the pitch. Konate will replace Van Dijk. And we are more than satisfied with a 7-0 away victory to the team, but nearly cost us the title. Cracking start, other games, Lukaku back in the Chelsea shirt, gets himself a hat-trick. Manchester United draw 0-0, and Manchester City are held by Everton. So, that is an absolute excellent start for the boys. I could not ask for a better deal there. Player of the week, Salah. I don't think I'm going to accept this. I mean, yeah, they're, they're willing to pay a fair amount of dough for him, but I don't think it's worth my time. Tiago is back, which is some good news. Kudos is showing pleasing progress, which is fantastic. So Andre Santos. He's still one man I'd very much like to get involved in my side, but not right now. I don't think five of my players were in team of the week. No mucking about. We are straight in. And look at that early game there. Chelsea versus Manchester City. So we are going to, who are we going to take out for Thiago? Because Thiago is going to sit on the bench. Harvey Elliott is going to lose his place. And it's a little bit bad for Harvey because he hasn't really done anything wrong. But I can't change the side. I'm going to be completely honest. Not from a team that's just one seven nil. Good to see Silver there at three stars, by the way. Let's go again.
Brentford are not an easy team to play against in all fairness. But we have taken the lead and it's taken 10 minutes to reveal Fabinho into Diaz. First time from Salah, far corner. And it's 1-0 to Liverpool. And as always, we will praise the boys. As we should. Try and fire him up a little bit. Antonio Silva's funny on here. He's not getting good ratings at all. So it's one nil. I'm pleased, but you've got to do a little bit more for my liking. You definitely need a, a, an early goal just to settle it down. I'm going to have to make some changes as well, so. And Luis Diaz has got his fourth of the league so far. Good ball from Henderson. Diaz tucks it away, makes it two, doubles our advantage. It's going to be time to make some substitutions. Nunez is going to make way for Dacro Fafana. Salah will make way. I think it's going to be kudos that I'm going to play on that right hand side until Tellez Magno comes in. Fabinho looks a bit tired. We will replace him with Thiago. Demand more from the boys. And with another goal. And it's looking like a Liverpool goal. Thiago through to Alexander Arnold. Crossed. Detro taps it home. Makes it 3 0 to Liverpool. It's been the dream start, to be honest. I did say it looked like a reasonably good start to the league campaign that we had. Um, and Brentford have got one back. It's wow. Through to Muembo, who's ran through. And around it, Allison, and tucked it away. That is probably the uh, Alexander Arnold with Zabani. That's fine. Um, that is probably the issue with me playing such a high line. Now, what is going on here? The silver has made it three two. I'm wow. They uh, they really need to uh. Think about this right now. Antonio Silva is having a nightmare. I don't think he's going to get picked next game at this rate. I just hope we manage to hold on here. Because this gave me a bit of a scare. We did. And I kind of feel like we got a bit lucky to be honest. I'm just going to go with satisfied. Jordan Henderson with a negative reaction now. I did say that there might have been others, but. So in other games, um, City beat Chelsea. Timo Puki there with the hat trick. I've just noticed that Diego Costa has gone to Bournemouth. Interesting transfer, that one. How is our finances seeing right now? Not bad, but not great. They're going to get slapped at some point. If I get my way, 
Norwich at home next. Simicast wanted by anyone else, it's still Juventus. I really don't know, you know. I get the impression that we're not going to be able to raise funds for this transfer. And that's okay. January is not a problem. I just want to get the player in before I recoup the money, that's all. So, Silver is going to have to come out. He hasn't been good enough. Now, I'm going to put in Ilya Zabani. I think we can practically mould him into the type of player that we want. I'm also going to take out Henderson and we are going to put in Thiago. I'm going to take out Silver. I'm going to try something here. Victor Roque. I'd like him to... Let's, let's test him in the Premier League. Let's test him. Let's give him an opportunity. Third game already of the season. Flying through it already. I'm getting plenty of opportunities in the first 10 minutes. I had to mile more from the boys even after 15 minutes. Three yellow cards already. Did I really just say Lingard? Jude Bellingham has scored his first ever goal for Liverpool. 1-2 with, with Darwin, gone through, slots home. Go on the Bellingham. Lingard always seems to do quite well against me, so I'd very much like to uh, get some goals in there as soon as possible before he starts. The referee has awarded the goal. It's a Nunes goal. That we do know. Thiago's cross. Why would they even... That's a goal all day long. We go 2-0 up. When it comes to attacking, it's certainly been us. Sabani Salah has now scored from Andrew Robertson. Oh, it's a banger. Absolute banger there. 3-0 to Liverpool. It's nice to see that Zabani's um, rating has been a lot better than Antonio Silva's. We've got four bookings. The boys need to calm it down a little bit. I might have to start taking some of them lads off. And Nunez has scored. Sell it back to Alexander-Arnold. Cross it in low. Darwin knocks it in. Makes it 4 0. We've hit the woodwork there as well. It's another yellow card. We're going to have to start. Taking some of these guys off. Fabinho will be replaced with Jordan Henderson. Robertson will be replaced by Simakas. 
and Thiago will be replaced by Andre Santos. That leaves Alexander Arnold and Luis Diaz. Have Norwich got one back? Or if, no, or we made it six. Sabani through to Salah. And it's Darwin who hits it first time. And it's gone to VAR again. Did I say six? It's five. And it is a Nunes hat trick. Now that Nunes has secured his hat trick, I am going to give Victor Roque a chance up top. Luis Diaz will also make way for Cholerdela. Salah has missed a penalty again. Five nil is a cracking score. I'd like a little bit more if possible, but you know, thirty one shots is uh is pretty good, let's be completely honest. We can keep it like this, so I'll be more than satisfied with that result. And that is how it stays. More than happy 5 0. It's um, been an excellent start to the season. Tottenham and West Ham have matched us. Chelsea beat Burnley. Manchester City beat Watford. There's a few teams there that are um, firing away straight away. There's no one that's really... Only Manchester United. One point so far. They are a game short than everyone else. Now, one week's time, we've got Tottenham. Benfica has got Nunez, another million for Nunez. Right, can I find anywhere where I can make some money? I know I've been dragging on about it. £88 million pounds there. He's the man that I eventually want to replace. The good thing is with someone like Fabinho, and why I would like to keep him around him, if I can, is that he's very versatile. The one other thing I wanted to check was Alexander-Arnold's contract, which runs out in 2025. It's that yearly wage rise I want to get changed. wants a massive rise okay so that will get rid of it is a rise and it's fine but also that that deflects away from the fact that he's going to get 20 percent rise every every so often So, where can we find some money? I don't want to sort of get rid of someone like a Fabio Carvalho. He's, he's a good looking player. Ben Doak, £40 million pounds worth. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to find this, this solution to where I can find it. I made about £15 million. Do you know what? I'm going to throw out a sink here. Just, just out of curiosity. I will just send out an offer for Fabinho. Haven't put nothing there to see if anyone offers anything for him.
month, a farmer has been taken ill. No, no club considers a deal for Fabinho viable. That's fine. Absolutely not a bother. I really don't know what else to uh, to suggest. I think um, I can't keep going with Curtis Jones all the time. I'm going to have to look in the reserve squad. See if there's anything that's worth. Do you know what? Didn't really want to go down this route, but. I will offer Tyler Morton and just see. Right, now I'm going to give a particular number on it. And I will offload him if somebody can give me £15 million. Yes, Declan, we are trying. <laughs> we are trying. You are the man that I do want to get in. Southampton are rumoured, which is it's a start. I'm not going no lower than that. That's as simple as that. I'm not going any lower than twelve and a half. If nobody wants him, then nobody wants him. Salah is injured only for a couple of days. So it's not too bad in that respect. So we've only got one week left. Renato Sanchez has gone to Manchester United. Good, uh, certainly a good um, transfer, that one. No offers for Morton. Alexander Arnold's got a new deal, which is absolutely fine. So we've got a week to find some money. Southampton have made an offer. And this is a very, very good start to having a look at what we can do. So they're offering just about £9 million. Now, I want more money now. So if they can give me this, I'll take it. Take him away. So that's a nice little chunk that we're going to get towards him, which is obviously ideal. Um, so we've got to find a little bit more money in the next week to hopefully get the funds there for Declan Rice. We will see what happens there. Um, and we're going to call that the end of the video. It's been a successful start to the season. Three wins from three. We've got Charity Shield on our back. We've, uh, we've been playing some damn good football. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. It all helps. Um, likes also help. Um, and also turn them bells on so you know exactly when I post these videos. So they're always good as well. But we will catch you in the next one. Peace.